Without further ado, let's jump right into it. So here we are again with the Avengers data set. This time we want to know whether minutes fighting is associated with willpower after controlling for injuries. So we'll begin by requiring flex plot. And then just as I always like to do, I like to look at my univariate distribution first. And look at that. We've got a positive skewness going on. So most people fought for around 10 minutes or so. And some people fought much, much longer. And the probability of somebody fighting much longer gradually decreases as you get higher in the minutes. So definitely some positive skewness here. And uh, since I've already visualized a lot of the other variables, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a flex plot. And then now I'm going to type in method equals gamma. And I'm going to now jitter um, x by zero and then y by 0.2. Uh, I'm sure I had a reason for doing that at one time. And look at that, we've got a beautiful plot. So what are we seeing here? We are seeing that as willpower increases, minutes fighting increases, which makes sense, but it's much stronger when you have less injuries than when you have more injuries. And that actually makes sense. The more injured you are, the less able you are to fight, regardless of what your willpower is. There reaches a point where you just can't fight anymore because you're so injured. So we would actually expect that. So it looks like there might be an interaction going on here which is pretty interesting. And we also got that line passing through the center of the data, which is exactly what we want to see. So now we're going to fit a full and a reduced model. So we'll go ahead and fit a full where we're looking at um, the main effects of injuries and willpower, as well as the interaction. And then we're going to compare that to a reduced model, which is just injuries. So injuries is the variable that we are trying to control for. We don't care about injuries. We want to know the unique effect of willpower. So we're going to run that model as well. And then now what we can do is we can start to visualize these models side by side. And so I'm using this exact same flex plot formula that I had before. I'm putting the variable of interest willpower on the x-axis and then injuries uh, in panels. And then we get a plot that looks like that. Not surprisingly, um, under the reduced model, there is no willpower variable in there. So we see a flat line uh, for willpower, but we do see this uh, vertical shift. So it's saying that for uh, zero to three injuries, you have more minutes fighting and then less for three to four and then even less for four to five. Uh, a little harder to see that when it's paneled, but same idea. And so, yeah, we do see, again, what we're looking for when we look at this is we are trying to determine whether the predictions of the two models are vastly different. And by golly, they are vastly different. So this is actually a perfect example and uh, at least in my opinion, it's there is no ambiguity here. It's pretty clearly favoring the full model. So now we're going to use some statistics to hopefully confirm what we saw in the visuals. And if we look at the model comparisons here, we'll go ahead and make that bigger. So AIC favors the full model, BIC favors the full model, Bayes factor overwhelmingly favors the full model by bajillions, and then the p-value also favors the full model. So yeah, the model comparisons, both the plots and the model comparisons say yes, that full model is a much better model than a reduced model. So yay, we're gonna go with the reduced model, or oh, sorry, the full model. And one thing we also might wanna do, earlier we modeled the interaction. Um, just because it seemed to me that there should be an interaction, you might also wanna do a model comparison. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So we're gonna create a new model. Uh, actually, I'm gonna copy the full model here. And instead of calling this the full, I'm gonna call it ME for main effects. And then I'm gonna change that asterisk to a plus. So now we're going to go ahead and compare the two models, the full and then the main effects model. And I'll go ahead and copy that right there and then paste it there. And now I'll just go ME. So now, again, this is the visual comparing the model with the interaction versus the model without. And what do we find? Well, the models aren't all that different. Um, we see the biggest differences for zero to three injuries. Uh, beyond that, it doesn't seem to make much of a difference at all. So uh, a little ambiguous, but uh, I'd say it could go either way. So now let's go ahead and do our model comparison here. So instead of full and reduced, we'll go full and ME. 
And what do we see? All right, so the p-value favors the full model. The Bayes factor also favors the full model, not as overwhelmingly as it favored the full model over the reduced model before. Uh, BIC is, also favors it. Uh, AIC also favors it. So um, it seems like that interaction is important. The visual's kind of ambiguous, but apparently with the sample size that we have, that is consistently detectable that there is a slope difference across the two variables. So we now have our final model. Yay! That's pretty cool. So our model suggests that uh, minutes fighting is a function of both willpower and injuries. And we could go ahead and visualize the final model right there. And uh, there's that little gray line, which is the ghost line, which corresponds to the three to four injuries. And so again, it's like we said before, as you increase in willpower, we expect you to fight longer. Um, and that relationship is much weaker the more injuries you have, which again makes sense because if you're injured, you're probably not going to be fighting all that much. And then the final thing that we could do is we could look at the estimates for the full model. And we got the raw coefficients and the multiplicative coefficients. So what is this telling us? Basically that 0.921 says that every time you bump up your injuries by one, you can expect your minutes fighting to decrease 92%. Um, and for willpower, it's saying that every time you increase by one point, you can expect your minutes to fighting to increase by 1%. So that's kind of cool. Uh, not terribly hard to interpret um, these sort of coefficients. I think I kind of avoided it in the Poisson, but it's actually not that complicated. It's just uh, you, think of, you can think of it as a percent change. Um, now, of course, these are sensitive to the original metrics. So injuries, you only got a scale that goes from zero to five. So a one point increase in injuries is a much larger increase than a one point increases in willpower when you go from zero to 120. So um, we can't really compare those two and say, oh, look, the willpower is a much smaller effect than the injuries. Instead, you can go to the standardized coefficient. So basically, what is the saying? This is saying as you increase injuries by a standard deviation, we expect your minutes fighting to decrease by 90%. And likewise for willpower, as you increase by a standard deviation in willpower, we expect your minutes fighting to increase by about 130%. Or you take your value now and then multiply it by 1.3 and that's your value if you were to increase by a whole standard deviation. So that's my very brief example of doing a gamma regression. It's, all, it's really not that hard. And the cool thing about this and the cool thing about Flexplot is we use all the same tools, regardless of whether we're doing standard regression, generalized linear models, mixed models. All these models can be visualized with Flexplot. So we use the initial flex plots to look at the univariates and then the model plot. And then we can use uh, compare.fits to visually see how the two models differ in their predictions. And then we can use model.comparisons to look at Bayes factors, AICs, BICs, that sort of thing. And then at the end of the day, all we have to do is look at the coefficients and see what they mean. So hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know if there's any questions in the comments below and I will see you next time.